Push a man, push a man, mm, push put your man. hand on my thigh. I, just want I need chills up and down my mm. spine. Baby, can you get me high? Ooh. Push a man, push a man, put your hand on my thigh. Hello there, this is Rom Wills, and oh man, after a long time, I'm back at you. Oh man, yeah, it's been a while, but you know, I've been working on some books and a bunch of other things, and. You know, go check out my stuff at uh, www.romwills.com. You know, check out my books, check out my blogs, all of that good stuff. Yeah, I wanted to um, hit you with a quick, well, quick for me video, because y'all know I can go. But I wanted to hit a subject that I talk about a lot in private when I'm doing coaching or, you know, just kicking it with the fellas at the barbershop or something like that. Um... And this is especially for the men. Women can learn from this as well. But this is especially for the men, especially the men out here, out here in the dating world, trying to figure out how to deal with these different women. And, you know, there's a lot of men out here complaining. But the thing a man has to realize is that there are two different types of women out here. Two different types of women. And I don't mean like pretty and ugly or anything like that. You have the little girl, and you have the grown woman. Now, when I say little girl, I don't mean in terms of, like, a chronological age. You know, a lot of times when you say little girl, you're thinking about some teenager or something. It's like, no, no. A little, what you have out here, you have a, what I'll call a critical mass of women. You know, biological adults. I mean, you're talking women who have you know, jobs, businesses, and everything. You know, they have their own homes, got maybe two or three cars. You know, they think they're these strong, tough, independent women, all that good stuff. But they're little girls. The reason why I say they're little girls, if you think about the action of a chronological little girl, their whole thing is me, me, me. And if you look at a lot of the women out here, everything they talk about is me, me, me. Because if you think about what what does a little girl want? She wants gifts for herself. She's not altruistic. She's not sharing. She wants what she wants. She wants you to do everything for her. And another thing with a little girl is they don't take any accountability for anything. You know, they want what they want. They don't take accountability. Now, a lot of men out here unknowingly deal with a little girl. Yeah, they, they see her, she pretty, she got a, you know, her little degree, she got her car, all that. She got a nice old big fat old booty, you know. But she's a little girl mentally because she all she's talking about is me. Well, what you gonna do for me? How are you taking care of me? You know, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna take me to dinner? You know, are you gonna satisfy me? And when you're dealing with that little girl, She's the type that, you know, especially for a lot of the good guys out here, she don't appreciate a good guy because, first of all, she's not looking for it. Because you think about a little girl. What did they look for? Fairy tales. They're looking for Prince Charming. When you're in a group of women or you read something online or whatever about a bunch of women, grown-ass women, talking about, well, the man got to be six foot six. He got to be handsome. He has to be making six figures and have two degrees. A lot of guys think these women are exaggerating, but they're serious, but the mindset of these little girls is just that. They're little girls. And a lot of men don't realize it. They think, oh, they're just playing all they crazy. They say, no, they have not grown mentally. You know, just because you have a degree or a job don't mean anything. You still haven't grown up. And a lot of these women are really still stuck in their teenage years. And a lot of men deal with them. Like when you see these men, I mean, sorry, when you see these women who talk about, well, I gotta have a thug. Come on now. I remember I was at this uh, forum I was hosting and this little mousy woman, I mean, she looked to be about her mid 20s. We're talking about she wanted a thug. And I just smiled. Because, you know, the women at this thing were spending money, so I wasn't going to say too much to dissuade them. But I just looked at her and I said, you know what, a thug will empty your bank account if you have any money. 
will dog you and will probably do things to you that, you know, his more thorough grown woman girlfriend probably won't let you get away with. But, you know, and, and you know, that's how, I mean, you can, you can see it. Just listen to him. If you even listen to some of these, like, women talk, they sound like children. Like, no maturity about it. Now, when I say versus the grown woman, see, the grown woman is different. First of all, the grown woman is mature. You know, the grown woman is not up there talking about, well, I need a thug or something. Unless it's a corporate thug, and that's, that's another thing. A grown woman realizes to get something, she has to give something. You know, the grown woman doesn't, she, she's not going to try to, like, you know, like, it is an example between a little girl and a grown woman. The little girl, she'll get pregnant by some guy and blame him. You know, she said, he got me pregnant, you know. And then, you know, the little girl will never say, well, why did I let this, like, lose a dude bust nut in me? Think about it. It's like, it takes two. You know, the only way uh, somebody can say a man got her pregnant is if he A, rapes her, or B, the condom broke. And there's, like, nearly 30 different types of contraceptives on the market. It takes a lot to get pregnant. Hell, if you if you if a woman even know her cycle, she even know when she's gonna be ovulating anyway, and know like, uh, dude, you better strap it up. So it takes two to tangle. But see, the little girl is the type who won't take any responsibility for it. The grown woman, of course, she's gonna take she takes responsibility for everything. Like if a grown woman gets caught up with a knucklehead, she ain't gonna blame the knucklehead. She's gonna say, why did I choose him? She's gonna say, why they not that he was a knucklehead? Because when women meet knuckleheads, most times. She knows he's a knucklehead anyway, but he was cute or something. Or he was packing 10 inches. But see, the little girl will try to, she'll ignore all the red flags. And, you know, as long as he got a, like, pretty eyes, she's still going to go for it. The grown woman is going to keep walking. She's going to be like, he's cute, but he don't have a job. Or he's living in a basement. And to be clear, a grown woman is going to, you know, she's going to think about stuff. Even though, and just, let's just be clear, grown women are not perfect. They, they're far from perfect. So, you know, a grown woman still might be involved in an affair or something like that. You know, she still might go with a married man or something like that. But the difference being between a grown woman and a little girl in that account is that the little girl will be like, well, he gonna leave his wife or something. For him. He, I'm in love with him. This grown woman is gonna be like, you know what, it's just sex. And, you know, I'm going to send him back to his wife. You know, it is what it is. And, you know, and even in dealing with men, I'm going to tell you what. You know you're dealing with a grown woman because a grown woman always knows that she's choosing a man. And she will choose him. She will seduce him. Like, fellas, if you're dealing with a woman and she is not actively trying to seduce you, she either A, doesn't want you, or B, you're dealing with a little girl. Like, you deal with these little girls who, like, don't give you any signal. You know, you approach them, their arms like this, they acting silly, and then they look at you. You Like, when you, like, rightfully keep on walking, they look at you like, oh, how come you ain't try to talk to me? That's a little girl mentality. See, the grown woman going to bring you a plate. And when I say a plate, for y'all fellas who are not used to a woman bringing you food, if a woman feeds you, she take time to make you some biscuits and gravy, you know, for all the fellas out there that eat swine, get some pork chops or beef, you know, she cooks, she take time to cook for you. She trying to seduce you. You know? She's letting you know. See, does a grown woman know she gonna give something to get something back? She knows she gotta pay for it. You know? It's you know, the grown woman, she's the type, she's she's not gonna be chasing after the Prince Charming. You know, the guy just got to come correct with her. See, I, I like dealing with grown women. They don't have time for games. You know, you can walk up to a grown woman and just be very, you know, just be correct. Just be polite. You know, like we used to say back in the day, just be correct. You can go up and say, look, you know what, I think you're very attractive. I would like to get to know you. You know, the little girl might be silly about it and try to play some games. She's like, well, get out of my face or something like that. The grown woman. You know, she's either going to say, okay, yeah, when we uh, go to this coffee shop, or she'll say, um, she'll say something. She'll say something to let you down, just like, you know, 
oh, I'm sorry, you know, she might tell a little white lie, something, or like, you know, I have a boyfriend or something, but I appreciate it, or I don't have time right now, or, you know, something, they'll let you know, but they'll do it in a classy way, you know, well, even if you say something to a little girl, like down the street, like there's this big thing on street harassment, you could say good morning to a little girl, and she's going to blow it out of proportion. Ah, oh, he's trying to holler, and the old dude said it was good morning. You say good morning to a grown woman, she's just going to say good morning back and keep it walking. In fact, you can compliment a grown woman. She's going to say, hey, thank you. You're looking nice yourself. That's a grown woman. And one of the problems out here, one thing that fellas, men especially, leave the little girls alone. Look, if a woman is not doing something, if she's not carrying herself a certain way, like an adult woman, leave her alone. And a lot of times, a lot of men get blinded by that booty. You know, that pretty face, that booty. And the woman, you can even listen to her sound like a little girl. They say, a grown woman, you know, they're realistic too. Like I said um, a little bit earlier, you know, they ain't gonna get caught up into that whole Prince Charming thing. As long as that man, they, they more practical. Yeah, they like a good looking man. But, you know, if the man decent looking, he carry himself right, you know, she say, oh, okay, you know, keeping himself clean, you know, he don't look that bad. He approached me with some respect. He's respectful. She at least going to give him a chance. She, she just said, okay, let me see what he's talking about, you know. And that's who you want to. And plus, they're going to hold you to a high standard. See, I like, deal, I like dealing with them because they're going to hold you. You ain't going to be doing some loser stuff or some stupid stuff. You're going to be a grown man with them. Grown women don't mess with little boys. So, you know, if you're a man out there, especially a good man, a lot of good men complain, a lot of do-right men complain, but that's because you're messing with little girls. Yeah, little girls want to chase the thugs. They want to chase the bad boys. They want to chase some, some loser living in his mom's basement who ain't going nowhere because they think they can change him. See, that's a little girl mentality. It's like they playing with dolls or something. They can dress him up and you know, feed him, change him and stuff. See, a grown woman don't have time for that. She got her business to handle, and she want a guy who's going to handle that business. And I'll leave with this. Like I said, I don't want to go too long. Men, men especially watching this video, leave the little girls alone. There's a, there's a lot of grown women out there. A lot of grown women. It's fine, too, because one thing about a grown woman, she knows she got to keep herself looking good. Even if she, if she could put on like 20 pounds or something, she still won't keep it tight. She, she still won't look nice. And she still won't be pleasant. Empower the grown women. Don't, don't deal with them. Don't, don't even write about the little girls. Don't deal with them. You treat them like children. Because, you know, emotionally, it's like child molestation anyway. I don't care if the woman's 40. If she's 40 and ain't like a little girl, you need to leave her alone and treat her like a little 10-year-old. So... That's all I got to say today. You know, I appreciate y'all listening. Check out my website and all of that. And I'll try to do more videos now. Um, you know, it's, it's getting summertime. And, you know, definitely definitely check out my stuff. Buy some of my books. You know, Nice Guys and Players, Sexual Chemistry, my latest player's eyes. Because, uh, you know, I got two big head sons. And my brother got to feed his babies. So, <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening. And... I'll holla at y'all Bamas later. Peace. Push a man, push a man. Mm, push put your man. hand on my thigh. I, I need you. chills up and down my mm. spine. Baby, can you get me high? Ooh. Push a man, push a man. Push